Welcome to Antenna Tech Pro on TV antenna grounding blocks and why it is important for you to have one of these installed on your TV antenna installation. Uh, it is true that you do need to ground your television antenna to guard against lightning and static electricity. Uh, so today I'm going to uh, reveal to you how uh, grounding blocks work, the sources of static electricity, and um, recommendations of where you can buy the grounding blocks from. Alright, this is a thunderstorm just like any other. You should know that the water vapor that is in the environment along with the warm air and cool air play a role in thunderstorm development. Now this warm moist humid air rises eventually it comes down and then it cools quite a bit and as it cools you get what's called a downdraft along with all of the heavy rain and and hailstones. Sometimes it produces hail because the ice that's in here in the cloud becomes dislodged and melts so fast that hail tends to fall out from, from the cloud itself. So you get a downdraft. And associated with that downdraft is a lot of heavy rain and sometimes hail. While you have this action taking place within the thunderstorm, another kind of action is taking place with ionization going on. You have the positive charges at the top of the cloud and down below it you have the negative charges. And at ground level, you have some of the negative charges and the positive charges. When those charges meet, you get a lightning strike, as shown in this uh, illustration here. I managed to pull up this illustration from the web, so that's where I got it from. But anyway, uh, you do get lightning from cloud to the ground quite often because we see it uh, quite often you do get cloud you get well you do get lightning from within the cloud uh, lightning from one cloud to another and then from cloud to the air itself now as for your antenna when there's a lightning strike from from a distance your antenna gets affected indirectly now how does that happen well your antenna picks up that burst of energy from that lightning lightning strike or from that lightning bolt that flash of lightning that is your antenna picks it up sends it down the coax line And before it gets to your TV, it has to get through the TV antenna grounding block, where all of that excessive surge of energy from that lightning strike gets shunted to ground at the at the grounding block, and then from the ground wire to the ground rod. Um, that static surge will normally come along what's called a coaxial shielding within the cable and then that that's where that static surge rides, rides along that that coaxial shield shielding it gets directed to ground instead of into your personal electronics now what happens to the center conductor whether it's solid copper or copper, copper class steel what happens in a center conductor is the most interesting part. That center conductor is key to passing the signal. 
And the coaxial shielding not only protects the signal against um, interference, but also picks up all that static surge that's in the environment and directing it to ground, providing that you have the grounding block installed um, on the outside. Now, when there's a high voltage on the center conductor, within the TV antenna grounding block, you will get a spark. But the voltage has to be high enough to initiate that spark. And then it gets shunted to ground. So all it takes is a spark from within the center conductor to shunt that current uh, to ground so it doesn't affect your uh, equipment. Now, when it comes to lightning storms, your signal becomes disrupted. Um, your, your, your signal uh, breaks up in and out, uh, pixelates, or totally drops out altogether from, from static surges, from lightning that's in the area. But rest assured that if your antenna is grounded, all of that, all of that static surge get, should get shunted to ground instead of into your um, television equipment. Now, another source of where stat static electricity comes from is from very dry environments, especially where the humidity levels drop below 40 percent. When that happens, static electricity builds up along the coaxial cable and on the antenna. Again, your antenna grounding block would take all of that static surge and directs it to ground, um, away from your uh, electronic equipment. So that's pretty much how TV antenna grounding blocks work to uh, protect your equipment against the effects of lightning and static electricity out there in, in very, very dry environments. Uh, this is the coaxial cable grounding block. I just pulled this up from uh, Channel Master. You can get these almost uh, anywhere where TV antenna products are sold. Uh, you can also get them anywhere where they sell coaxial cables or, or electronic equipment, things like that. Uh, most home improvement stores sell them, I think. Um, you may want to check there and find out. Also, you can go on eBay, eBay or Amazon. You can buy it from there. Uh, that is if you have internet access. But you may want to check around your home improvement stores or your electronic stores and see if they have the grounding blocks. And uh, also, finally, when it comes to grounding block installations, it'll be best if you get with uh, a professional installer in your area to help you with that. Um, what I did with installing my own TV antenna grounding block is that I used the existing grounding cable that was left behind by Dish Network to connect the grounding wire to uh, to the grounding block. And I basically used the existing cable that came out of the exterior of the, of the home and connected it to the grounding block. That was left behind by uh, Dish Network many, many years ago. So I basically used the existing equipment that was left there to connect the grounding block to it. As for the um, antenna cable, I basically um, bought that and then connected it to the grounding block. So uh, there you have it. Uh, if you're just starting fresh with grounding your antenna, it would be best to get with someone in your area that can help you with that. Uh, if you're just a cord cutter that is switching from cable or satellite TV to antenna TV, 
you can use their equipment to connect your grounding block uh, to that. Okay, so that's it on TV antenna grounding blocks. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe, make comments if you like, and look forward to the next video.